And I just see myself being that all-around champ. I want to win more medals than Michael Phelps, dude. This kid wanted to end his life, but somehow turned into a professional athlete. His story will leave you speechless. Every day, we struggle with so many things that test us. But what happens when we think we have hit the last straw? When everything just seems too much for us to handle? The sad truth is that most people will give up before even trying to turn their situation around. But not Zion Clark. This man is different, and don't be quick to judge. I'm not talking about the way he looks. I'm talking about how his mindset is on another level. When I tell you that everyone is waiting for the big mountains to come to them, he's acting like Muhammad, chasing and conquering the great heights of the biggest mountains he can find. He's not the type to avoid problems in hopes that they might go away because he knows that the only way out is through. That's why I want you to start thinking more like him because that could change your life forever. But why is he worthy of admiration and inspiration? And what valuable lessons can we learn from him? Let's find out. But before we get started, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and liking the video. It'll only take you one second, and it means a lot to us. Zion Clark was born on September 29, 1997, in the state of Ohio, USA. And from the beginning, everyone knew that life was going to test him at any given chance. Being born without legs due to a rare disorder called caudal regression syndrome is already tough on its own, but growing up in the foster care system made things all the more difficult. Zion doesn't like to talk much about that part of his life because he doesn't have good memories from that time. He said that it was especially hard since no one was able to see things the same way as him. It was just him against the world, and with many odds against him, Zion's future didn't look too bright. But something that would change his life happened, as if to shed light within his darkness. Zion was encouraged to try out for wrestling in elementary school. This gave him a sense of motivation to keep pushing. But there were many things in life he still had to figure out on his own. Things that we may find simple, like cooking or riding a bike, are so much more complex for someone with a disability, especially because no one was there to teach him how to do any of that. So we can only imagine that for Zion, it was a matter of persevering during his trial and errors. This forced him to grow up faster than most people. When he was 15, he had to act like he was 21 and show anyone who was trying to mess with him that he was capable of defending himself. As he puts it, there are plenty of bad people out there who are waiting to take advantage of those who seem weaker than them. So Zion had no choice but to be suspicious of everyone. Trusting no one and being cold for fear of getting hurt is a real issue that I'm sure many of you will find relatable. But do you know what happened a few years later? At the age of 17, an angel in human form came to adopt Zion. Her name is Kimberly Hawkins, a woman who noticed right away how special and worthy of love Zion is. For the first time, he felt like he was understood, and his mom just knew exactly how to help him with his emotions. And if that doesn't sound beautiful to you, just imagine how Zion must have felt to have someone sitting in the first row supporting him. No one had shown him that level of appreciation until then. Zion continued crushing his opponents on the wrestling field even during college. However, he dropped out because he didn't feel like his mind or passion were really there. But as you may know, when one door closes, another one opens, and for Zion, this new door looked like California. So he went there with only 30 bucks in his pockets, but a soul full of dreams, and was able to meet one of the best Bellator teams. Now here's where Zion has some good advice for us. Find the things you're good at and stay persistent. In his case, he found out that he was wonderful with headlocks, so he exploited that in the ring and took the advice of every single person who wanted him to improve. Sometimes we're too focused on our little world that we forget to pay attention to a broader picture that can be evident to experienced people. And so for quite some time, Zion kept perfecting his technique until his trainer noticed he was ready to fight. Zion applied all the knowledge he had gathered and was able to win the fight, making him the first and only disabled athlete to beat an able-bodied opponent in MMA. And listen up, because this man has set three-time world records. Want to know what they are? The first is the fastest man on two hands. The second is highest box jumps with the hands, 33 inches to be exact. And the third is the most diamond push-ups in three minutes. Can you guess how many he did? If you said 248, you'd be correct. Now comment down below how many push-ups you can do in three minutes. 
Zion believes that after being so disciplined with wrestling, other things in life became easier. So he started trying other sports, and in fact, he won the 100-meter state championship for wheelchair racing. And just when you think that his achievements are going to stop there, he keeps surprising us. Turns out that he's quite the musician. He's able to play the piano, guitar, and even the drums. So naturally, he went to America's Got Talent to demonstrate not just his ability, but his ambition to always conquer new things. Zion is not one to just stay in the same place forever. He says that he wants to keep breaking his own records. He set the bar high, but he believes that it's always good to try to go even higher and that there's never an excuse for anything. During a fight where he had injured himself, Zion wanted to quit, but his coach told him that he had to keep going because he was going to win. And guess what happened? He won. It is during those times when we think that there's nothing left for us to do that we just want to forget about everything. But we can't. Not if you want to feel proud of yourself. It's not about winning. It's about not giving up and not making up excuses for our mistakes or certain situations. At the end of the day, the only thing that made Zion strong and capable of many things was enduring the pain and loving himself. But it wasn't always like that. When Zion was 10 years old, he tried to commit suicide, and unfortunately, that was just the first of many tries during his childhood. Due to his disability and lack of help, there were times when he wasn't eating, taking showers, or doing anything. He just felt stuck, and if he tried to voice his own opinion, that would just have gotten him beaten up by someone stronger. Zion didn't want to keep dealing with that, but thankfully, he survived. However, that trauma made him feel like he had to be aggressive towards others, so if it wasn't for wrestling, he wouldn't have had that outlet to allow him to channel his aggression into something more positive. Life for Zion would have turned very different. Who would have thought that a kid with no legs would have turned out to be so good at wrestling and develop other impressive skills? No one believed Zion was going to have a bright future, but he was able to flip things around and prove them wrong. Now he is a motivational speaker, author, athlete, and has an impressive following on social media with 1 million followers on Instagram. So what's next for Zion? Well, he's looking to become the first ever Olympian and Paralympian athlete at the same Olympic Games in Paris 2024. So we'll have to stay tuned for that because certainly he's training like crazy right now to prove to us once again that our only limit is our mind. So when you think about life being hard, think of Zion and how despite everything, he figured out that nobody would care about his excuses and that if he wanted something bad enough, he would be able to find a way to get it. That's why, to us, Zion Clark is a great example of the lengths humans can go to achieve their goals through determination and the right mindset. But now, we want to hear your voice. Share in the comments what you've been struggling with so far. We're here to help each other. And remember, as Zion likes to say, you don't need legs to leave your footprint on this planet. Like and subscribe for more content like this.